Zumi's prayers, notions of the earth and sky. There is no current, is no wind, that the waters be stirred up. For an angel went down at certain times into the pool, and to bring healing, which is the presence of the Lord. We by nature, impotent of spiritual things, blind, halt, withered in our spirits, we wait for you. We wait 38 years, now 76, still now believing, believing that you will make us whole. Shall we for a day, for a year or more, be peevishly afflicted by the elements of our life? Who put them there? You sovereignly, but we may easily see our role, our crippled soul. Your command, arise and walk, turn and live. Stir your heart to goodness and to me. You do not suppose such power in us against our impotence. It is by the power of the risen Christ, within whom any rise up. It is a joyful surprise to us to find in our bent arthritic body, now paralyzed by years upon the earth, that our spirit lives not here, but there. Be it waters or a mountain falling down, some boating to our life prompts us to patience. The Lord High God lives out of time, but choose your time to reveal to us salvation. There is no greater healing, no flood of waters, no shaking of the earth. We do not await consummate earth, but here in this time, awake our spirit unto grace. Grace of which none believes, nor did we or half-heartedly, you will know when the waters shall move us to repentance. The great flood was of the repentance for aid against the millions. So the Red Sea, drowning evil, leading the people of God to the promised land, which is repentance to holiness, which is grace. So too the well in Samaria visited by Jacob. Now said, whoever drinks this water will come in, become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. Our spiritual diseases are healed by you. Let us go where you send us, take up what is laid upon us by you, walk before you, worship you in all eventualities. It is a sea of paralytics, blind, leprous, demonized. Even so must live these out, but for all, not lame, not dumb, all spirits are of humanity, itself a sickness against God, which must be visited by you and called up to your everlasting life. The angels urge us, the angels minister, they attend. They see always the face of God, which is your being. They carry us to the bosom of Abraham. Through them received the law, sent, and rescued us from the clutches of the world. What does it mean to say visited by angels unaware? And they from us have this. They shall never have seen the face of God, but for the human race. For they are a spirit to a spirit. Even we shall never with our eyes view the Father, view the Spirit. But you, the Son, are their fullness, a man, also God. How great the errors of the world which come from this alone. The Muslims with their fanatic monotheism allow only that Jesus was a prophet. And lo, the ancient Jews from Abraham did believe in unseen things. But when the Son of God appeared, choked outrage at your very presence. But all are wrong, these religionists, these philosophers, these atheists. Why else the human race was created, but that divine wisdom made to be true, the combining of the life of God to your peculiar creatures. This beholding of the glory of God by beholding the glory of Christ and all your holy properties in you is the greatest privilege we are given. The dawning of heaven is in it and the first fruits of glory given to us. For this is life eternal, to know the Father in Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. It is to be valued above all things. Notions of this did fluctuate in the minds of those who boasted themselves to be wise. 
These did not transform them into the image and likeness of God, as does the saving knowledge of you given to us. What then shall we say? Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Amen.